This is a brief introduction to complex numbers. A complex number is any number that can be written in the form a plus bi. a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. So I'm going to use set notation to indicate that because I'm way too lazy to write that whole thing out. So we say a and b. This symbol means our elements of. And this is the notation for the real number, uh, the set of real numbers. So a and b are real numbers. And i is the square root of negative 1. So it's that basis of the imaginary numbers. i is the square root of negative 1. So basically what we're looking at here, this is called standard complex form. So you put the real part first and the imaginary part second. If a is equal to 0, then the number is purely imaginary. If b is equal to 0, then the number is a real number. So what that means is that all real numbers are also complex numbers. What we're going to do next is we're going to write the complex number in standard form. So we're going to simplify it as much as possible. And then we're going to put it in standard form. The 5 is done. We don't need to worry about that. The square root of negative 80, we can simplify. So first, we might rewrite the square root of negative 80 as the square root of negative 1 times 80. Then let's think about the largest perfect square factor that goes into 80. That would be 16. So I'm going to bring down my plus 5 so I don't leave it out. And then it would be 5 plus. And then I can rewrite this as negative 1 times 16 times 5. I'll come up here. Um, the square root of negative 1 will be i. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 5 is the square root of 5. Because complex form does put the i last, I will follow the true complex form and put the i last. Although, as I said in the previous video, I usually put the i with the, uh, with the coefficient up here. But it doesn't, we'll talk to your professor and see what their preference is. But this, uh-oh, I forgot a part, didn't I? I only have 4 plus the square root of 5i, but there's also this 5 plus. So I just made, need to make sure I bring that down. So it's 5 plus 4 times the square root of 5i. I can't add these together because this is a real number and this is an imaginary number. So we'll leave it like that. Letter B, we have 12i plus the square root of negative 90 divided by the square root of 10 minus 3. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to take care of is this here. Uh, just like you can kind of like disassemble and reassemble radicals that, where the factors are being multiplied, you can do the same thing when they're being divided. So what I can do is I can rewrite this as one radical and say negative 90 divided by 10. And then I can actually do 90 divided by 10. 90 divided by 10 is 9. So let's rewrite this. We have, oh, I have a lot of space over here. 12i plus the square root of negative 9 minus 3. The square root of negative 9, this has two parts. It's negative 1 times, uh, sorry, the square root of negative 1 times 9. The square root of negative 1 is i, and the square root of 9 is 3. So we're going to rewrite this 12i plus 3i minus 3. Now to get this truly in complex form, we're going to put the real part first, which would be negative 3. And then we have two imaginary parts. I have 12i and 3i. We can combine those to get 15i. So our final answer here will be negative 3 plus 15i.